In this video, we will be discussing the concept of multi-currency within Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Multi-currency is a feature within any software that allows a company to complete transactions in foreign currencies or anything other than your local or functional currency. Here in Canada, our currency is obviously the Canadian dollar, and the foreign transactional currency would therefore be anything used outside of Canada. Business Central is a multi-company, multi-currency database, which means that you can run multiple companies in multiple countries that have different local currencies. In this example, we have a Canadian company shown here, and we will be completing a transaction with an American company. First, open the customer list and select the customer that you know uses the US dollar as their local currency. In this example, we will be dealing with Fabricam Inc. Once you click on the customer record, notice that under the invoicing tab, Fabricam has USD as their currency code, indicating that the US dollar is their local currency. Behind the scenes, an exchange rate has been defined in the system relative to our Canadian dollar, shown here. It will apply based on the date of the transaction. When we create a transaction today on August 27, 2021, the exchange rate will be based on the most recent date. In this case, the exchange rate is 1.2. Note that these are effective date ranges. You can manually update them, or you can use the automation feature shown here under Exchange Rate Services that allows you to subscribe to an exchange rate service such as the Bank of Canada. Now, let's illustrate what that means. Let's create a sales invoice. Click New Document up top here and create a sales invoice. What's important to note is that when you scroll down to the Invoice Details tab, notice that Fabricam's currency code is automatically initialized to be USD, just like on their customer record. Behind the scenes, the system is already pulling the most recent exchange rate between their currency and our local one based on the effective exchange rate on today's date. As a result, when we enter a transaction for an Athens desk, for example, to sell one, notice that the unit price here is the dollar amount in USD. To show the Canadian equivalent, go to the Invoice tab and click on the Statistics button. Notice that you will see the total unit price in USD, but also the Canadian equivalent as a sale in our local currency or LCY for short, based on the previously defined exchange rate. And that's it. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about Business Central or anything discussed in this video, please comment, reach out to us on socials, or visit our website for more information.